Is it, but um, what if the movie was made by, directed by Christopher Nolan, scripted by Christopher Nolan with some added touches from Aaron Sorkin, and then uh, the Riddick character would be played by um, the guy who plays James Bond now. Daniel oh, Craig. And yeah. the bad guy would be played by, who would be a good villain? Maybe Javier Danny Bardem. <laughs> yeah, great, actually. Yeah, 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 As the leader bad. of the Necromongers. Be, I, I would totally pay money to watch that movie. You know, yeah. um, you know what Vin Diesel sort of reminds me of? You know, he does, in, in both, in basically all of his movies, he does his one character. Yeah. You know? yeah. oh. He doesn't have a range of emotions. And his character, though, it fits for most of his movies. Yeah. It's sort of like... Kevin Costner, but doing space movies. No. Kevin Costner is one character. Oh, you know? yeah. Kevin Costner would not have been that good in Pitch Black, but it's the same character that he does. Waterworld in space. Waterworld in space, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's absurd what these lines that the movie has. Like, I mean, the line with the, when uh, Riddick kills this sort of like this, uh, one of the best soldiers of the Necromongers, yeah. and then the leader comes and gives him the knife, uh, says something Keep like, yeah, 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 something like that. What do you think of this blade? And he t turns it around. And yeah. In an obvious spe special effects yeah. kind of way. <laughs> it's half a gram <laughs> off from the end. Jürgen, one of my best. If you say so. What do you think of this blade? I think it's a half gram heavy on the back end. You have to stamp it out that Riddick is so badass. That but if I had like, been the guy that hand, if I handed you that blade and you did that and you said, oh, it's half a gram off from the balance, he'd be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know. yeah, but but that is that is Riddick. I mean, there, there's there's this scene in Pitch Black which almost ruins the movie because uh, Vin Diesel's a fairly sort of because nobody really knew about Riddick at that point and Vin Diesel wasn't yet a I mean he was a star but he yeah. was he sort of created that from scratch that's another role-playing thing that he you, you can see that he's been thinking about this character a lot yeah mm. sure um, but there's this one scene in the movie in the end when Riddick goes off by himself uh, to the spaceship and and you and the audience doesn't really know if he's going to leave them on the planet or if he's going oh, yeah, to stay, yeah, sure, if, he's yeah. the, if he's the hero, if he's the anti-hero, if he's just a, just a badass villain. Yeah. And then the, uh, the pilot comes after him and then starts pleading with him and he says that, and tries to taunt him into coming back by saying that, like, something like, are you afraid? And Diesel does this really hammy, the worst kind of uh, arrogant laugh. I promised him. That we would go back with more light. Did you? Hmm. What are you afraid? Ha ha ha! Me afraid? It's supposed to make the audience think that this guy is a badass, that he doesn't fear death, but it sort of crumbles his co whole character mm. because you you see him being this insecure yeah. <laughs> shit. Ha, maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, he yeah. did that on purpose. No, well, <laughs> well, based on <laughs> all of his movies yeah. since, yeah. from any movie since. But he's he planting the yeah. seeds that no, no, they're he, actually no, already no, he's insecure. Back, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's, a, he's a bad actor, that, basically. That, basically. But, but so that, Mr. and Mrs. Diesel didn't raise a trouble <laughs> young man, right? Yeah. But, but this the is what is wrong with this macho <laughs> culture that I'm trying to show you guys, but nobody will Son, when you grow up, you're going to be an actor. <laughs> And a sensitive one. <laughs> said no one ever about Vin Diesel. What do you like about Vin Diesel? Well, he, he, he's so sensitive on camera. He plays all these sensitive roles. Yeah. But, but the thing is that, that that sort of betrays the whole mythology of Riddick. Right. And, and that gets much worse in the sequel because there's, like you said, there's, he has to show, at every opportunity, he has to try to show what a badass he yeah. is in every kind of way. You can't just do it twice and we get the yeah. idea. No. Yeah. No. You know? And he's a physically imposing guy. I mean, yeah, he, sure. I, I, that, that alone should work. You wouldn't, yeah. ha you don't, you wouldn't, if you look like Vin Diesel, you wouldn't have to do that much to be, you know, intimidating or, or be, be yeah. believable. And every but time he verbally does that, that sort of chips away at his being. Yeah. But is it just a problem of 
bad writing compa- combined with bad acting. Because when, like, if you think about the scene in which James James Bond movie is it? It's in the, um, the one with Harry Reams. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> That's the next one. That's so beautiful. Well, the thing is, the train behind James has collapsed, and he's sort of like this, and then he corrects his tie, and it's basically the same idea. Just to show the audience how bad yeah, as yeah, James yeah, Bond yeah, but, is. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, but there's the difference. There's a there's a huge difference about that because it's it's an old adage of filmmaking that if you can show something and not tell mm, it, it's true, it's true. it's always better. Yeah, yeah. And and Vin Diesel has to com- constantly tell di- tell you things, tell yeah. you things <laughs> and and sort of point blanks. Smack it in your face that I'm, 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 I'm really tough and I'm a really badass guy. <laughs> and and that's your crazy guys, I'm really tough. I'm yeah. badass. I told you the yeah. handle was off. And, 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 and I, I think that, that that is a that is a consequence of being a role playing nerd. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have, you have to, to explain the story. Yeah, yeah. actually yeah. explaining it. Man, yeah, I should, we should have played some Dungeons and Dragons this trip. I should have stayed an extra day so we could play some D and D. I've never done it. You never <laughs> played D and D. Never, never. And I've started writing an actual uh, adventure that I'll DM, uh, and it's all the characters have to be chaotic evil, and they would not, of course, work together. But there's a reason that they have to work together. But I wanted to have an adventure where the characters were all evil, because you never. You that never, sounds really good. It's like Suicide Squad, oh, but oh, better. For sake, <laughs> no more Suicide Squad. <laughs> we must complete it. <laughs> I've seen Suicide yeah, Squad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had an episode of that in Finnish and we... Yeah. Oh, I hate that movie so, yeah, so I, I, much. <laughs> she seems nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But, it's, but, but, um, but in terms of... Uh, I think it's, an, uh, it's kind of an interesting idea. And I know this is... Um, uh, if you've, in, if you've in the, never seen or haven't watched the show that much, it's a thing with, with, uh, with Tero that he likes to, the idea of of making really shitty movies, but having the yeah. r- really good ingredients for it. You get a good director, yeah. and then you get good actors, and basically the plot plot's a bit shabby, yeah. but you can make it work if you have these, you, if you have the best people working on it. Well, like Evil Dead it, too. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and, 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 and I mean, in a kind, in a way, the Star, Star Wars movies, I mean, it's a hammy kind of thing, sure. but it, it works because there's enough talent there. Yeah. Um, but in in terms of Riddick, it, it's an interesting idea whether you can could actually dismantle the whole f- film and put it together in a way that works. Because, because it's, an, it's even the necromonger idea. Is it really that bad? If you really would develop it further, I've yeah. seen I've seen worse Bond villains and they've worked. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, true. I, I mean, I, I think the necromonger thing is a bit stupid, but there's a lot of stupid. You know, yeah. devices and films it is a bit stuff. silly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. But the basic idea of the necromongers, I think, if you really strip it down, is to have this sort of an unstoppable force. Yeah, that's the idea. If and, you have and this one man stops them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Or takes yeah. them over. Yeah. Fu- the Furian. Yeah, yeah, the Furian. <laughs> oh no, not the Furian. <laughs> okay. Uh, interesting thing about Chronicles of Riddick also is that it did attract. I mean, the people who who started in it hopefully have read the script yeah. but it attracted like dame judy dench yeah. 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 yeah and what's his name carl urban's quite yeah. good uh, Andy uh, Newton. Yeah. thandy newton's quite yeah. good and uh whoever played the uh the the lord marshall. lord marshall uh he's a he's a i can't remember his name but he's a he's a well-known british stage actor not adrian's med no <laughs> not, not adrian's <laughs> med no yeah but uh but yeah, I think that I think that it's it's interesting that maybe it was just because of Riddick, uh, the first one, Pitch Black, was such a they got paid sleep. a lot. They got paid a lot. Yeah, obviously they got paid a lot. No. But I I haven't seen like Judy Dench. I haven't seen enough, a lot of films, where she simply agreed to do it because she got she paid a lot. Doesn't need money. I mean, yeah, you know. Yeah, I guess not. No. Yeah, so she's got a good enough life. Yeah. yeah. And that and that was and also that character, the elemental character, was such a shitty character. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe there were scenes left on the cutting room floor that would have made it a better character somehow. Yeah, you know. Did yeah. they even explain what the elementals are? No, that, they, they that's like one ele- thing they don't yeah, explain. Yeah, the no. one they, thing. they were they were they were simply explained as a race who were very calculating. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, and she was an air elemental too. Yeah. That, if yeah. you know what, I mean, and, and if you could, Vin Diesel, I, you, who, I mean, who I know yeah. 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 Oh yeah, she couldn't fly. She but could I played Dungeons and Dragons. I know all about <laughs> elementals. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, but that's the thing also that that about that movie is that it's clearly very influenced by Diesel because he he knows all about that stuff as well. He probably assumes but everybody does. Yeah, yeah, it? that's the problem. I mean, a lot of people you know? don't. A lot of people, if you say what a mirror elemental is to a, 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 somebody who hasn't played role playing games or isn't into fantasy, it's not gonna. You know, you, you get a certain image in your head mm. probably, but it's not gonna be like an instant. This is I know what this is about. Yeah. No. And actually, the f one funny scene that my friend pointed out to me once was this uh, the scene at the hot planet when they're in this cave. Yeah. And really, if this is the cave here, Riddick is here, and then the necromonger who used to be a Furian yeah. decides that I'm tired of living, and he goes out a little <laughs> bit, and then he's like, <laughs> ashes. Now, Riddick is right here in the cave, and it's really hot here, like 20. Yeah maybe 50 meters away, so... The heat does not work this no. way. Yeah, the, th the same thing is, is when, when, when he does this heroic thing, when he jumps with the cable <laughs> into the sun to, 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 <laughs> to, res <laughs> to rescue the girl. Does it say the that in the script? Okay, <laughs> then he jumps into the sun. Because <laughs> basically, what he does to prevent himself from being burnt is take a bottle of water yeah. <laughs> and pour it over himself, and that works. <laughs> you know somebody's going to try that in real life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I sort of... I have to admit that the first time I saw Riddick in Chronicles of Riddick, um, I thought that that sun planet was quite interesting. Yeah. It's, a, I, it's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah and, and, and the sun coming in and, and sort of incinerating every, everything. Yeah, yeah, sure. But the problem was that, that exactly like you said, mm -hmm. that if you're in the shade, <laughs> and it's like 300 <laughs> degrees, it's not like, going to help like you. Like there, is that where that wall is? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, now, I saw Chronicles before I saw Pitch Black. I saw them in the wrong order, no. yeah. which is interesting. Since, uh, you know, because I knew who all about who Riddick was from Chronicles and then watched mm -hmm. Pitch Black. And I think that made Pitch Black even more enjoyable. Yeah, uh, you know, because I, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, I, I, I thought it was better too. Yeah. But you know, yeah. so, but that was interesting. You know, yeah. watching sequels before the actual film that you, yeah, you know, the original. That that actually, just a quick side note. I, I watched uh, Train Spotting two last year. Yeah. And I really liked that movie. Yeah. Uh, it almost made my top ten list. But we, ha I've talked about this that if you saw Train Spotting two without having seen Train Spotting one, oh, would yeah. it make any sense? No, who to are you these guys? Yeah. yeah. Like, well, I, I, why does that guy hate yeah. that guy? Yeah. What did he do? Did yeah. I tell you about the time Yori Hulkun told me that he hadn't seen Train Spotting? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We because we were thinking we we have to find somebody yeah. who who uh, about our age who hasn't seen Train Spotting, and that that is not easy. Okay. Yeah, but are we? Uh, Done with the Riddick. Are we done okay, with yeah. Riddick? Is anyone yeah. ever done with the Riddick? <laughs> yeah. Um, so they made three of them. Do you think there's going to be another one? Well, uh, he he does love the character. Like yeah. I said, I mean, Pitch Black is now being released, uh, or it was re-released as Chronicles of Riddick, Pitch Black. Aha, uh -huh, okay. And then there's Chronicles ah, of Riddick, okay. and then this had some, uh, I, I don't remember. Then he made a video game. It should uh, be Fast and the Furious with, with Riddick. Riddick. No, uh, but, but there's, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's the, the video game is called Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay. Yeah. Okay. And then this third one was originally called Chronicles of Riddick something, I don't know. Just Electric. Just, and now just, it's just burn it with <laughs> sun yeah. planet yeah. fire. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I, on, my, on my World War I channel, um, I refer to actually, not the Battle of Verdun, but the second, which was a much smaller, Battle of Verdun, a year after it were done, and I say uh, this week uh, uh, the uh, it was were done too. Electric Boogaloo. I actually called it, <laughs> that. I called it on, on camera, and nobody complained because a lot of people yeah. say oh, disrespectful. Mm. Not a single person wrote and said. Yeah. But a lot of people thought it was really funny. No. Yeah. And it, it should be called were done too. Electric Boogaloo because yeah. Yeah. everything that's the second should be Electric <laughs> Boogaloo. Like if I had a kid named Indy Nidell, he wouldn't be Indy Nidell Jr. He'd be Indy Nidell Two Electric Boogaloo. Man, that'd that would be a cool name. That would be and a cool name. That in and of itself is a reason to have a kid, so... That's a, yeah, you should, okay. You so all you women out there that want to have kids with me, you know what we're going to name it. A boy or girl, by the way. Yeah.